hello everyone and welcome back so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to calculate free cash flow to equity using two methods the first method we will go with the flow of the financial statements the second method will go with the flow of the actual formulas so um we have got our case study which is uh, the reliance retail limited which is one of uh, India's retail giants with a focus in groceries, apparel, um, electronics, etc. So, without wasting time, let's dive right into it. So, free cash flow to equity these are cash flows that are available to uh, the equity holders. So, this is uh, these are cash flows after um, debt payments have been made and these are cash flows which are potential for a dividend payment or for a share buyback you know all sorts of things so let's uh just go through the linking part right so here we are going to utilize the income statement and the cash flow statement so let's quickly link the net income from um uh from the income statement here and right. so this is profit for the year and we link that through uh, depreciation we link it from the cash flow statement so here is our depreciation and we have to link changes in working capital so changes in working capital we also link from the cash flow statement so here total changes in working capital here and then we copy that right through and we also link through um uh, capex right and then we copy that um proceeds from borrowings non-current we also link from the cash flow statement and the financing activities so here are the proceeds and repayments Let's just do that. Repayments, money current. We just copy that right through. And short term borrowings. Um, so, short term borrowings here. And then we just copy that. So, here we just sum up everything to get free cash flow uh, to equity. Okay so this is a free cash flow to equity right um now let's look at um net income right uh now let's look at free cash flow to equity with uh, now we are going with the flow of the actual formulas so we have to hard decode all these numbers here so let's quickly do hard decode that so here let's hard to code that um, let's also copy depreciation let's hard code that um what else do we have to here we have to flip uh the signs here so let's flip the signs Let's also flip uh, these signs here for capex and then let's return these figures as is. Let's add code that. Um, repayment of borrowings. Here we have to flip um, the sign. Okay, so here we have to flip the sign and we also have to flip this as well. Right, so here we need to uh, now apply our formula. So the formula is net income plus depreciation um, minus changes in working capital minus capital expenditure plus um you know um net borrowings right that's the, that's the formula 
so here we have to say net income uh, plus depreciation minus um, changes in working capital minus capital expenditure plus proceeds minus repayments then minus here the reason I'm saying minus here is because we have been given the borrowings like it's a net figure there so I flipped the signs to reflect the actual movements so here um, here if we copy that right through you can see that it's the same here the same figure that we have gotten here it's also the same figure here so this is it guys and uh, I hope you have enjoyed uh, this tutorial this video and um, if you have loved uh, this tutorial please do subscribe to our youtube channel uh, leave your comments uh, like uh, hit the like button and also share this content with your peers with your friends with your workmates uh, thank you so much and god bless you